or SharePoint? That's the big question. I'm Paul Kaisers and I help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you will know what to choose. So let's dive into it. Yes, I already have a Teams uh, app open and I did this on purpose uh, because we first going to talk about Teams. Uh, well, maybe first about chat because um, many people use Teams and they don't know where they store their files, where they are stored. So there's one basic thing I want to uh, let you know about it, especially around chats, because if you are in chats, like we are here, then um, all the files that I used, so if I go to shared, you will see the files, you see who has shared them, and the files that are shared are stored on your personal OneDrive. So that's for the chats, the meetings. So that's also a really important one. So these meetings, they, they are on your personal OneDrive. And that's really important to know because if, for example, in this case, Debbie leaves uh, the company uh, or I leave the company, uh, and my account is deleted, all files are deleted and nobody can reach them. That's why it's really important if you have important project stuff or other stuff, you create a team and else you need to ask your IT team to create it. But this is really important. But that was not what this video was intended to be. So let's go to Teams. And if we look at Teams, We've got uh, channels and let's see what I have more here. Yes, I just have a few channels. See all channels, show, right. I don't know, I cleaned up a bit yesterday, a bit too much, I guess, um, but that doesn't matter. So when we talk about Teams, Teams is basically about communication. So it's about communication in your project or communication about your um, department. You all do that in Teams. And if you start by default a normal team, and I wouldn't uh, use private teams, uh, you have a general channel. And you nowadays you can rename it to anything you want, but uh, before you had the general channel. Now, if we have this general channel and uh, we are going to look at the uh, files, uh, which are uh, here, then you see that I have a, a general. And if I go to documents, I can see the channels in uh, this, uh, this um, team. In this case, you see three channels. Uh, so you see the private channel, the shared channel, and the general channel. I wouldn't go with uh, private channels, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, shared could be a different story, but that's uh, I made a video about that a few months ago. Um, but basically this is what you get. And all these files are stored in SharePoint. So basically you are already using SharePoint. So it's the question is not why Teams, why SharePoint? It's basically where do I store? Because if I look here, I get in SharePoint exactly the same view. I've got my channels and I can browse through them. But there is a significant uh, uh, change in between them. By the way, if you like this video so far, don't forget to like and su subscribe to my channel. Uh, so I can make better videos for you. So um, if I look at this and I go to my uh, team settings, I can go to manage teams and here I can uh, select members. And there's a big difference here between SharePoint and Teams. So we are going to go to the SharePoint side in a minute. But basically, if I have a team, I have two roles. I actually, uh, you have three, but you see most of the time two. So you got your own role, who is the one who can create everything and 
is the owner of the team. Basically, I always say use two owners instead of one. Then you got your members and here you are members and they have actually they can just edit, uh, delete, whatever they want. So that's basically the permission model of Teams. Now there's in SharePoint, there's a different one and uh, you can already view it here uh, in the SharePoint tab because here you will see if I go to site permissions, you see that you have site members, site owners and site visitors. And there's some more, but we leave that empty for now. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, office.com. Typing is a bit hard. And I'm going to click on the, uh, the hamburger menu or the nine dots, whatever you call it, uh, and go to SharePoint. This opens the beautiful new uh, layout of uh, the home of SharePoint, if you have uh, set it up. And I'm going to create a site. When I'm creating a site, I have the possibility to choose between team site and a communication site. The team site is uh, more about collaboration. The communication site is more about your internet or communication of a, of a project you would choose um, the uh, communication site. So now we are going to create a communication site. I'm going to click on a standard, which basically looks like this. I'm going to use the template. I'm going to call my uh, name uh, 031124, the date of today. Of course, here you have to think what's your governance and what's your policy. So if you need help with that, uh, please let me know. I will put SharePoint behind so I know this is only a SharePoint site. Um, here I see the group email address. So this will be the email address at the specific domain and the address where I can find the site. When I go further, I can say if the team is or the team, the SharePoint is private or public. So anyone can access it or it's private, only members can access it. By default, most of the companies will say private and your language. So I'm going to create the site. And while it's creating, I can add members to it. So I'm going to uh, add Debbie to this one. Now you see that I have uh, two uh, options, a member or owner. This is still the same as uh, with um, Microsoft Teams. So now we are going to finish. And basically it looks exactly the same as I just showed you uh, here. If I go here to home, to the masterclass, which is my team, I get exactly the same view, but there's a difference in here. So here we see that we can invite, we can upload, we can post new. So that's something that you cannot do in Teams. You can post news about your project, uh, change the look if you are an owner. And basically we have our documents here, uh, which is not connected to Teams. So no channels here. And this is a default uh, documents. Now, as you may see, you see that this is popping up on the left-hand corner at a real-time chat. So you can add um, a team to this, which is quite interesting uh, if your project is going to look different in the end or your team. But most of us who want to create a site or a, a team or a site, <laughs> they, can, uh, they want to have multiple libraries, multiple settings. So here you can go to site contents And if it's loading, then I can create a new and here I can choose from list, page, document library or uh, app. I wouldn't suggest subsite, which is really old, uh, but a list, it's different in Teams. You don't have that and then you have to create a, a separate tab for that list. A page is specifically for this site and document library, you have your 
default documents, but most of the time you will need a different document library. Now there's something different here as well. And uh, you can add apps. If I click on app, you will see that I can choose of several apps that are installed or uh, available for me. In this case, you see that I have some uh, available. I could add them to my site. I'm not going to do that now. Um, let's go back on one. Yes. So what we can do is we can go to settings and here we can go to uh, site information. Uh, I mean, not site information, but site permissions. So basically you can add members and go to site permissions. Now you can add members, uh, members to this group. And here I can add uh, members that uh, that I know of. So I could add uh, Honecker, for example, and I can choose what she is, a member or a guest. I'll not do that now. And go back one step back and go to the site permissions again. And here I also have the advanced permissions. Now you may not want to change this uh, as this is really the advanced stuff. And uh, especially if you don't need it, you don't want to break any permissions because here you can break permissions with the, with the parent. So I'm going to go to the members. I see I get a message of Chrome and here you see the members group, but I don't see who is in this members group. So it's, it's not possible to view who is in there. Now, in this case, I want to share it also with an other group and I can do so by clicking on new and it's working. And here I can say, for example, 1601. And it will show me the members of this group, so, or at least the group's name, and I can um, invite them. And always be aware that you uncheck this box because they will get an invitation. I personally would invite them via a different way. So I'm going to share it. And now if they go here to this site, they have the permissions to view it. So that's a big difference compared to Teams. Um, so I think basically it comes down to what you need. So uh, especially in SharePoint, it's really based on document management and Teams is more on the communication side with a few documents. Uh, but still on the back end, they are both saved at least the Teams team and SharePoint are saved in the SharePoint storage. So that will be the same. So this is what I wanted to show. I hope you like it. And if you want to know more about SharePoint, you can click here.